Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Key, and you are watching The Fluff Buns. In this video, I wanted to buns in this video i wanted to talk about basically why you really shouldn't get bunnies for your kid your boyfriend your girlfriend your friend whoever it is why that's not the best idea now before you just go off of the video and you're like uh, i won't agree with what they're saying just listen for a minute because bunnies are a lot harder to take care of than you might think they are Number one is just age-wise, a lot of people like to have their rabbits outdoors in a, a run, a small run with um, a hutch or something like that. Even if you give them a huge space outside, um, um, they are prey animals and they're very prone to having heart attacks over like literally any reason. You can have a cat run past them outside. They can't even be attacked by the cat. Just having a cat run past them, a raccoon, even a squirrel, can spook them so badly that they just have a heart attack, which is that they have a very specific diet that people don't understand. A lot of people think that you can just give them like pet store pellets. Uh, no, that's not a good idea. This thing is that they're super fatty. A lot of them have alfalfa hay in it. And uh, again, super fatty. It's just, there's so many issues with pet store pellets that I can't even get all into all of that right now. If you want to give your bunnies pellets, the best pellet that I have found personally is Oxbow. They have their essentials or their garden select. It's up to you what you want to get. But as, as your bunnies are babies, you can put out a bowl of pellet. But once they hit that like five month mark, you don't want to put out pellet anymore. Because again, it's really fatty for them and it's just not good. When they're adults, they need to have a lot of greens. I think it's like 85% greens. Uh, and you have to do specific research on what you can give them. Red leaf lettuce, green leaf lettuce, romaine. You can't give them iceberg lettuce or specific herbs that they can have and they can't have. And um, on top of that, they have to have unlimited hay at all points in time. That doesn't mean just filling their floor with hay and wood chips. That means giving them a litter box with a uh, bunny safe pellet, like wood pellet litter and um, like a hay bin or a hay rack. I'll pop some pictures up right here on what you can do. Um, but yeah, hay can get expensive and lettuce can get expensive, especially right now. Uh, it used to be like 99 cents for a giant head of lettuce at the grocery store. <laughs> Hi, Frodo. And now it is literally like two bucks for a tiny head of lettuce at Walmart. Um, you want to try to get them organic because uh, the other ones can have pesticides and even if you wash them, still not good for your bunnies. Hay as well, it can be anywhere from like 17 bucks to like 50 bucks for a bale of compacted hay. For me personally, I like to buy hay locally and so it does make it a bit cheaper. But another thing is, unless your rabbit's a baby, you wanna be giving them Timothy hay or oat hay. Timothy hay is probably the healthiest option out there. Oat hay is um, pretty good for adult rabbits, it's just not as healthy. Um, but I'll put a list up on what you can give to them. But again, it can be really expensive. Um, if you want to get the cheapest hay possible, you have to go locally, but you also have to make sure that that hay is not treated, that they actually get any sort of dirt, rocks, potential, like, sometimes animals will walk in front of the thing that collects hay, and some people have found, like, dead birds in it, which is why you really want to make sure that you're going to a good company and it just makes it more expensive. Like I can say for them, every single time that I buy a bale of hay, it can be anywhere from 17 to 30 bucks uh, locally and that's cheap for Timothy hay. Next thing is toys. Toys are extremely expensive. You don't want to just, I, I know people love DIYing their own toys. I love DIYing my own toys. But sometimes that's just not enough for them. Sometimes, like my bunnies, they can be super picky. I remember before I got Frodo and Shadow, um, I was preparing and I literally went outside and we had an apple tree and apple wood is good for them. And so I ran around, I cut the branches, I dried them, I was so excited. They did not want it, <laughs> they did not care. Um, I've gone through, I don't even know how many pet toys that they just don't enjoy. And it can be a process, it can be expensive, like literally, 
this one has fur all over it but this is a little cute cup super worth buying it was like it was like 15 or 17 bucks i can't remember super adorable you shove hay and forage in there super cute they won't chew on it though <laughs> they will not use the the cup itself, the wooden cup itself, as a toy. The only thing that they really enjoy are uh, palm leaf bowls, which can be expensive depending on where you get them from. But yeah, toys can be very expensive and you can't skimp out on the toys because their teeth are constantly growing. They never stop and so you have to get them toys to make sure that they can grind down their teeth. Uh, next thing is that they can be a 10 year plus commitment. Some rabbits will live till like the continental giants will live to like five years. Uh, um, Holland Lops line heads, stuff like that can be up to 10 years. Um, it's a long time. A lot of people think that bunnies only live for like a year or a few months or whatnot because they die quickly. And that's because people don't take care of them properly. And fortunately, I had a friend who didn't take care of the rabbit properly and they passed away within just a few months of them owning that rabbit they're a very long commitment and they need a lot of space they need a lot of toys and a variety of greens um, another thing is that because they're prey animals they can get sick and you'll just sorry my heater they can get sick and you'll never know until it's too late well one of the biggest most common things that i see in rabbits are gi stasis gi stasis is when their gut is not working the way it's supposed to and not breaking things up the way it's supposed to and due to that it um pops essentially they stop eating they stop pooping um they get like lethargic or whatnot and sometimes like if you notice that your rabbit isn't pooping or if you notice that your rabbit will not eat even treats rush them to the vet because sometimes it's not days or weeks it's hours that you have until you can save your rabbit and it's difficult there's a lot that can go wrong with having a bunny that people just don't understand. I've seen people who take amazing care of their rabbits and they'll still go into GI stasis because just something triggers it. So you just, you really have to think it through before getting a rabbit for me. Actually, right when I got them, I was watching a bunch of videos on how to take care of them. And I'm like, okay, um, I have this ready. I have this ready. I have this ready. And then I found out that they need a huge space and so literally I, I um i got the bunnies by then and so i was like okay i'm ordering cnc grids right now because unfortunately with my living situation they can't just free roam the whole house but they have basically half of my room to themselves so like they need tons of space to run and play and even when you take the best care of them there's a huge chance of them getting sick or head tilt or whatnot um another big thing to always avoid with rabbits is that they don't need baths um a lot of people literally are like oh they got dirty because they played outside which they don't need to go outside um i'll maybe take mine out in like a bunny stroller or a playpen to get some like sun but i'm always monitoring them but um, yeah, they'll be like, oh, it got dirty or whatnot, and then they go to go give them a bath, and they can't regulate their body temperature, and they're absolutely terrified, they don't know what's going on, they freeze up, then they can die. I've literally since seen somebody who did not know why their bunny passed away because they randomly got an ear infection, and I was like, hey, maybe it's because you were having them on their back in the bathtub with water. <laughs> like, hi, photo. Like, they they don't survive through that kind of stuff if you have maybe a bunny that you rescue that has really bad uh pee scold on the bottom of their feet then i can see very very gently going with like that much water where their their stomach is not touching the bottom of this bin and you fill it up with warm water and then you very like you sit there with them and you dry it off with a rag that one is okay if it's like really bad and they need to be cleaned but, like, if they get a little bit of dirt on them, they'll clean themselves off. Um, maybe if you're worried about them getting it on your furniture or whatnot, have them in, like, a separate room with, like, a towel on the floor that they can just kind of, like, rub up against. But, yeah, like, people don't fully understand the commitment that they're getting into when it comes to a rabbit. Ah, shadow. <laughs> like that. She just decided that she was going to nibble on my toe for no reason because she thought I had a treat. Um... <laughs> Anyway, uh, you can also, uh, a big thing is you have to spay and neuter your pets, and uh, when 
it comes to that, it is extremely expensive. To neuter your rabbit is extremely expensive, and to spay is even more expensive. Uh, for example, Frodo was like $260 to get him neutered, and um, Shadow hasn't been spayed because I'm terrified of spaying her. But I do need to do that at some point. It's really important to prevent cancers. And that's another thing. Rabbits can very easily get cancer. Um, you have to have an exotic net vet nearby in case anything happens. The whole GI stasis thing. Yeah, if they go into GI stasis, you have to bring them to a vet. And most vets, if not all, will... Not all. Most vets won't take rabbits. <laughs> um, like for me, I had to go into a vet and they had to have a specialist come to the vet because they didn't have that vet there that day. Um, but yeah, it's it's a lot. It's expensive. You have to spay and neuter them. Don't use them as breeding rabbits. They don't live very long. And even though it's so cute to have bunnies, they're going to go to really bad homes. Even if you screen people, uh, we had rescue kittens. And even though we screened people, there are incidences that may come up to where they weren't the right people to adopt and luckily we had a kitten who got adopted uh, just as an example we had one of our rescue kittens get adopted and the person that said that she absolutely loved him didn't keep him and then she gave him up to somebody else who luckily did love him a lot but that made me super nervous because even though we screen people Sometimes they don't go to the best home. So even if you think that you're screening somebody the right way, just know that issues can arise and they can dump the pet. They can just let it out into the wild, which they won't survive. They'll get caught by like a hawk easily. And um, most people don't take care of bunnies. So don't breed your rabbits. <laughs> um, don't have a male and a female if you don't plan on neutering them ever because I've heard stories of people who literally are like oh they're in different rooms they should be fine and they aren't one day they oh no I left my room open and their cage somehow stayed open and then they had babies so yeah there's a lot that can go wrong with having rabbits which is why you should not have them <laughs> especially for Easter especially for children they're for people who are experienced with pets especially exotic pets um so definitely do your research they are not easy pets they are not for everybody and uh that that's my ted talk <laughs> so definitely make sure to do your research don't buy bunnies for children don't buy bunnies for children <laughs> So that is it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below. Uh, if you have anything extra to add, make sure to comment it down below. I was going to try to give you guys an estimate on how much I've spent on these bunnies, and I have no idea because it's a lot. <laughs> so definitely make sure to think things through before getting any sort of animal. That is it from me. Sorry that the bunnies haven't uh, shown themselves at all. They're over in the corner cuddling. That'll be it. Goodbye.